Hi everybody, it's Beth. I grabbed four of these pieces of chunky wood from Dollar Tree, some rub-on transfers, and stir sticks from Amazon. I took the four pieces of chunky wood and put some wood glue on the edge of three of them, then placed them back down and put them all together. And to keep that together, I just used some painter's tape just to keep it set until it dries. And I let it dry for about an hour before I worked with it again. After I let that dry, I then took these 12 inch stir sticks that I get from Amazon and I held them up along the edge and just marked off where I needed to cut them. And I cut them with Fisker shears and then sanded off those edges that I had cut. And I'm putting each of the stir sticks, one on each end, about a quarter of an inch in from the edge. I use wood glue and hot glue to glue them down. The wood glue gives a stronger hold and the hot glue just gives an immediate hold. Next I took Snow White Chalk Paint by Waverly. I gave the top and all of the edges two coats. And then on the bottom, I am just painting the border of it because the rest of it will be covered. Once it's completely dry, I'm taking this little needle tool. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. It's from Dollar Tree and I'm going along where all of the pieces of wood meet and kind of removing the paint just so you can see those lines on the tray. I then take this adhesive cork board from Dollar Tree and I put it on the bottom and cut off the excess and then place it down on the bottom. And then I'm taking these transfers I also got from Amazon and they're from Timeless Designs. I've been using them a lot lately. I just love them. And I cut out a piece of it and just kept trimming it up and I kept changing my mind on the placement. But I ended up placing it this way. Just had to trim a little bit more after I had removed the bagging and place it down and smooth it out. And then take the stick it comes with or you could use a craft stick and just rub on the image. And then I go up with the front film on it and I just take my time making sure that it's all placed down before I completely remove that. And then take the edge and just smooth it down on the side and put another rub-on transfer on the other side. And I at first was going to use these black handles that I got from Hobby Lobby, but I didn't like the black along with the lighter neutral colors. So I ended up taking this wooden snake that's from Dollar Tree and cutting pieces of that for handles. And I just used Fisker shears, kind of tucking it in those creases and cutting that. A razor blade would work as well. And I was able to get both handles out of one of those snakes. And I just hot glued the ends of those right on the tray. And that is it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.